Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and I'm really excited to show you some of the limited edition Mary Kay products that came out for the, haul, the fall and holiday seasons. Um, I mentioned it in several of my videos that a couple months ago I started selling Mary Kay and using a lot of the products and just kind of experimenting in things and a lot of people asked for reviews and things like that because there really is not much on Mary Kay at all on YouTube and I'm really surprised by that because I mean, I'm not in love with everything, but a lot of the products I really love and I'm really impressed with. So, I'll, I don't own all of the limited edition things. I just picked up a couple of them, but I'll show you what they are. Um, to start off, I'll start off with my favorite, and those are nail polishes. And they have three colors and then a base and a top coat. And I picked up the three colors, and that is what they look like. Super, super cute packaging. I'm like a packaging nut. And they're just really cute bottles with the round gold metallic lid. I just think they look really nice and like it's expensive, nice looking packaging. And I think these would make awesome stuff, uh, stocking stuffers. I'm losing my words here. So I'm wearing them um, all three so that you can see what they look like on. The first one is in the color Plush Plum. And that's what it looks like on the bottle. And then that's it on my fingers and this is a cream shade with slightly a jelly base which means it's kind of um, a little bit of a translucent base it's not you know a total opaque cream but it's beautiful and it's showing up maybe a little bit more burgundy on camera but it's just a really beautiful reddish plum that is just such a classic beautiful color I think this would flatter all skin tones I mean I love this this is just a really timeless color and I think it's really really flattering and then the next one I'm crazy about for fall and the holidays and this one is gold leaf and this one is a metallic shimmer and when applying this one it is seriously a no-brainer I mean you don't have to, if you're not the best at nail polish this kind of color is awesome because it's it's not sheer because in two coats it's completely opaque but it just applies really easily. I mean, you're not going to see, you know, rough edges and things like that. And I smudged it, if you can see that. But this one is really pretty. Definitely a yellowy gold. Uh, but I love it for fall because I love, like, mustard yellows and things like this for fall. And this is clearly a gold, but I think it's really rich for fall. Beautiful for the holidays. And then all through winter, that's going to be gorgeous. And then the next one is in the color Lavish Sable. That's what it looks like in the bottle. This is what it looks like on my fingers, just a really pretty medium brown color. And this, this again, is a cream shade, not quite as jelly-based as the Plush Plum. But yeah, those are really pretty. And again, I just am crazy about that packaging. I love it. So then they also came out with um, a new form of eyeliner. And I really, really like these eyeliners. These are called, I have my magazine out so I don't get all the wording wrong. These are the Mary Kay Luxury Liners. And oh, I should mention the nail polishes are $8 a piece and these luxury liners are $14 a piece. Um, I have two colors. They come in Black Velvet, Classic Sable, and Rich Plum. I have Classic Sable and Rich Plum because I didn't need a black liquid liner. The reason I like these so much is because liquid liner can be completely intimidating, um, especially if it has a long brush. I mean, it can be really hard to get a nice clean line. These are a felt tip. So this one is the plum color. And I'll show you that applicator. I mean, it's, it's awesome. You can see, I'll get way up close here. It's nice and short. It has a very fine tip, but it's a sponge, so the brushes aren't gonna, the bristles aren't gonna separate. They're not gonna get too wide. It's definitely something you can draw a very fine line and then build it up if you want. Um, I'll swatch this here. And they're a really pretty creamy color. I love this one. Um, this is the one I'm actually wearing now. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's seriously like so much easier than traditional eyeliner brushes when you have a felt tip like this and I like this pl uh, plum color because it's purple without looking purple like I don't think people are going to look at you and say oh purple eyeliner it's um something more to accent your eyes if you have green hazel or brown eyes purple looks awesome I mean it looks awesome on any eye but it really accentuates especially greens and hazels and things like that and then the other one I got is the classic sable and I'll swatch that one and this one is like gorge too. It's right there. It's shiny, but it drives to more of a matte finish. 
um, and that one then again is just a deep a deep brown color and that is a nice alternative to black if you're looking for something more day to soften it up a little bit but I just I seriously think if you're intimidated by liquid liner something with a felt tip like these is an awesome way to start um, and you can hear that they have um, like a shaker in there so it's really it's gonna keep your your product nice so then the last thing that I have they came out with these lip suede's and their lipsticks there's two colors I have polished pink and there's luscious plum and I kind of wish I could I should probably pick up luscious plum because it's seriously gorgeous gorgeous deep plum shade it would definitely be a bolder color for me but mine's kind of all messed up because I use it a lot but here is this color, just a really pretty pink, more of a neutral pink, and I love this kind of applicator. You know, a thinner, here's what it looks like, you know, like a thinner lipstick like that. And I have this on now, and it's a really nice neutral pink, and it has a really pretty satin finish. It's not overly glossy. Um, I can tell, you know, you can just tell by putting it on, it's not sticky at all but it has you can tell it's definitely on your lips and it's going to be more of a long wearing lipstick as opposed to something that's one of those really moisturizing lipsticks that you know kind of you can lick off and lose quicker so this is more of a long wearing lipstick love this as a classic pink color so those are the ones that i have from the limited edition collections they also have um like blush and three eye color palettes that it's like a, it's a one piece that you put in the Mary Kay palette it fits in there um, I didn't pick any of those up because I really didn't need anything but they look really cool too um, so yeah that's what I have and so if you know of a Mary Kay wrap in your area definitely check some of these out because these limited edition products don't stick around long and especially the ones that are really popular they go fast like I know I had wanted the I can't even think of what it was now. It was like a liquid illuminator or something like that, a cream illuminator from it's you know months ago, and it was out of stock by the time I wanted to go order it. So if there is anything that you seem interested in, definitely check with your local rep. Um, one thing I kind of debated back and forth whether I was going to do this or not because I don't want it to seem like weird or like I'm pushing products on you, but I know I have been asked by several people um, for the link to my website that I have for you know the customers in my area and things like that So I'm gonna link that below if you don't know of anyone in your area that sells Mary Kay because You know, we definitely don't try and take customers from anybody So if you know if somebody definitely support her and go to her if you don't have anyone in your area though Or you don't know anybody who sells Mary Kay um, It's an option for you. You can do it completely online and You know pay with credit card and everything there uh, just a couple of details. Shipping is flat rate shipping of $5 up to $200. If your order is more than $200, then the shipping is $8.95. And that is for the continental United States. And I, I would think Canada, but I don't want to say that for sure if that's not true. And then I wrote a piece of paper down here. Okay, and then here, I just found this piece of paper. I wrote down the other states and countries so five dollar shipping for two hundred dollars or under over two hundred dollars is eight ninety five shipping and it's thirty dollar shipping if you live in alaska hawaii guam puerto rico puerto rico and the u.s virgin islands and it i can't ship overseas i don't even do the shipping so these prices are not my own at all sorry if that seems high um, I don't think $5 shipping for up to $200, I don't think that's bad at all. I mean, I think most websites are more than that. But um, what will happen is that shipping and the taxes will get added once I confirm the order and, and process that. Because once you place your order, it kind of goes to me and then I confirm it and then you'll get charged, your credit card will get charged and everything like that. So if you have any questions, if you want any product recommendations or anything like that, because I, I mean, I have experience with a lot of the stuff. Just ask me, feel free to ask me. But if you have any of these products, let me know. I'd love to know what you're thinking of them. And um, if you plan on getting any of them, let me know what you're thinking about getting. And yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. See you everybody.